welcome to the channel today we are going to discuss about some of the important interview questions that are known as weak strong and unknown difference like what is like a strong reference weak reference and unknown difference already we must have seen in many of the videos and we would be knowing so we will be mostly focusing on the weak and the unknown because these are most uh, asked and most confusing for us so let's first of all give a i will give you a quick walk through like for the newcomers like what is strong weak and unknown references what happens is basically like if you have a class and this class is of reference type as we know it is of reference type so in that you have the variables and these variables let's say this is class a and this is your class b so these are the variables that are being required by each of the class so class a requires few of the variables of class b and b requires few of the variables of class a so these are the variables we would be requiring and when we are done with the classes so we have the program th that has been executed and our work is done maybe like we would be requiring like for our we have your automatic reference count so the automatic reference count for a would be like a is storing the variables of b so and a variables are being used by b so when a variables are being used by b so a automatic reference count would be one it means like uh, there is one class that is using the variables of class a similarly b will have the automatic reference count like how many counts like it means like how many classes or other proper uh, structs are been using my property so there is one a is been using b's properties both have the count one so when the garbage collector would be coming to garbage collector would be coming to see the like i have to clean the memory i need the memory so garbage collector when it will come it will it will whenever whose uh, arc was would be zero that would be removed by the garbage collector that class would be removed from the memory but here a is also having one count b is also having count one count but both are not required their work has been executed here the garbage collector does not cannot like remove a from the memory and neither b from the memory here is the problem this is known as retain cycle what is this called retain cycle why because they both are having a count of one to each other due to which the garbage collector cannot use them or you cannot empty them this retain cycle may may lead to deadlocks okay so our app may crash app may hang so these deadlocks are not good as they could be a nightmare for a developer so then how you can so this is a story that goes in strong it means like both my variables in the class are declared strong whenever you declare any variable let's say where a is equal to 10 so by default it is strong okay so now it both are strong so it will create a retain cycle how to get rid of this for that swift gives us weak and unknown here unknown and weak will help us to get rid of these retain cycles to make our app the memory usage not 200 so that the app may not hang so these things can be done by the weak and unknown references so how we have to capture these let's see so what i can do in the same scenario if i have a weak and an unknown so what it is here it is again a and b i might make the variables of a a strong reference to b okay whatever variables i would be requiring and but when i have b wants to access it will take a weak reference so here a is also having a count of one b is also having a count of one in arc why because b has few variables that have been accessed by other class a has few variables that have been accessed by other class great that we came to know but when a garbage collector will come this time it will see oh b is having a weak reference so weak reference garbage collector has the privilege or the entire power to make it now zero once it is zero it will remove that and there it will be removed from the memory once this will be removed from the memory now again a counter will be also zero because now b has been removed from the memory so b or whatever variables we were accessing from class a will also be gone now a is also reference is now arc zero once once this arc counter is also zero for a this will be also removed from the memory now a and b are happily being removed from the memory our memory is free so what gave us the privilege to do this because we made the weak variables in b so that whenever arc will come the b memory could be deallocated and once the b memory is reallocated if a is having 
uh, b is having a variables the countable decrease to zero had it been c been pointing to a so then the if the count would have been two then if because a and b are both b and c are both are needing a's variable so then here would it would be one so and then we would be seeing approximately but we would have been removed from the memory because it was zero so this is how the things are working and this is how we can do the things okay so you need to understand like how the things are working in the strong and the weak memory cycles okay now coming to unknown this is bit like we can say it is we can say like when the developers are using we have to be like cautious to use them we have to use them with caution because in unknown it works the same like you have a and b and then a and b are referencing to each other and if i declare anyone as unknown so what will happen my um let's say if i have this unknown here variables okay and here it is a strong type okay so and here the count both for would be one okay for b is also the count would be one and for a also the count would be one but let's say we have the arc and uh, the garbage collector coming so here the count would be zero for the unknown okay because it is of unknown type so now b would be having an unknown so it would be zero okay and now it once it is gone from the memory and if you again try to take it like again you try to access that variable okay and like it was unknown and uh, you deleted that okay so you removed a from the memory now the point is if you try to access like b dot a variable okay whatever it was x y z now it will since it is nil because with the x's was removed from the memory if you try your app will crash because it will not have a check like uh, in the week we have a nil check like it will say if it is nil and if we are accessing anything in the week the app won't crash okay here it is the privilege we have but in the unknown if you access them your app will crash okay so here you have to be very peculiar in unknown like if you have made something and as nil okay so if you in the, for the memory counter to go zero and then you access that variable your app will crash okay to give you these kind of examples i have made the code let's understand okay so first of all let's understand like how unknown works for us okay in coding so i will give you a quick glimpse of that so let's go ahead and do something I will give you an example so that you can relate very easily with them. So what is the example for uh, let's say you have a bank account. Okay. And you are a customer in any of the bank. Okay. So this is your bank and you are a customer. Okay. So now being a customer, you have the privilege like you can, the bank may give you a credit card. Okay. So this is your credit card. So now you have the credit card what the bank says do you want a credit card you said okay yeah i want the credit card so you have a credit card okay so uh, let's just understand in that manner if a customer is there the customer can have a credit card okay but there won't be any scenario there won't be any scenario like uh, there is no customer like there is no customer but there is a credit card okay so whenever the customer is gone automatically the credit card is also gone did you understand my point so this has been linked together so when a customer is there there is a credit card but when there is no customer there won't be any credit card okay so when the customer is gone the customer do not have the bank account so when there is no customer in it so that there won't be any credit card okay so this is where we can use unknown so what i can do here in the unknown i have a let's say here is a class that is a bank that will create my customer okay so this is my customer type bank class okay and here okay so let's go ahead directly with the code i will explain that would be much more easier okay so let's go ahead i have made this example so let's see great so let's see what i was trying to explain there so let me change the ink there is it so let's see so see i was telling you there is a customer the customer has a name and the customer has a credit card okay and it is of option type so it means that if my customer wants they can opt for a card and if they do not want then it is nil that is very perfect great 
okay and this is a dna time calling just in order to make sure like you understand guys like how unknown is working okay now there is a class credit card that will have one number of course we know a credit card has a unique number and there is an unknown just focus on this line there is an unknown let customer unknown reference i have been made so it means a card will be holding its own customer okay so here so i will initialize the customer and this will link my customer to the card simple okay and here is a dnit so you see here i am making a customer okay and then the bank gave the customers from advantages like if you opt for the card you will get xyz advantage so the customer said okay give me the card so we created a credit card number 1234 to the customer and we linked to that customer okay so there was a customer that you we know so that's why i did the force and full force unwrapping but just to save the time but you guys like if you are using in the production make sure you use if let there is a customer then only you send that customer you can use if let but for the time being i just use the hard coded force unwrapping okay so we have the customer we know here is the customer because i have initialized so we are going for the customer so for any reason the customer went away okay so now my customer is not happy with my services or xyz and now my customer is gone so when my customer is gone you see i made that customer as nil so once i made this customer as nil automatically okay since this my is my unknown let type automatically my credit card will also be dn it okay it would be also been it the the relationship between this would be also gone so this is gone the relationship between the customer and the card why because as soon as i declare the customer as a nil the since the customer is as nil i made this customer where is my customer yeah here is my customer i made this nil so as soon as i made it nil you saw like this is an unknown let so unknown make reference so unknown as soon as the main this is also gone so this will also be as nil so my credit card also becomes nil so what happens to my card my card is also getting nil so you can see the output would be credit card is also deinitialized and alice is also been deinitialized okay you see you in the examples here in the output alice is been deinitialized because why i do not want it so i made a customer alice alice is now gone so what happens whatever the other classes that were linked to it whatever those were holding the reference to this customer so this automatically got deinitialized because of the unknown so this is the beauty of unknown okay that was a simple example that i showed and explained to you let's go ahead and dig few more things with this okay this was a simple one let's go and let me just make it run for you again just in order to show it is running so let's run it here it is so as you see we will get it alice has been deinitialized and credit card 1 2 3 4 is also been deinitialized although you see like i did not made credit card as null but it automatically get deinitialized okay because of this unknown let that's the beauty okay so there is no any retain cycle that has been made now let's explore one more example i have for you so we are having some tenants okay so this is my owner class and here i am giving the name of the tenant what type of like uh, our tenant is it is a permanent or a temporary one okay simple now i have a asset let's say i had an house okay so this is my house just ignore my drawing i am very pretty bad at drawing so this is my house and these are my tenants okay so there are two types of i am the owner of the house and this is a owner means the permanent person okay and here is the temporary that could be the tenant for us okay so now i have a asset that is let's say our house so this is a prime temporary owner i have made as weak and the permanent owner i have made as unknown okay so this is basically non optional because it must always exist there could be like there won't be any exist any asset in the world that will not have any owner so i made it as a non optional but a temporary owner could be it may come it may go so that's why i made it as optional let's go with that story and this is the dna that has been called so first i made the owners like i declared this class i made two owners one is temporary and one is permanent as you see and then i made this asset there is a asset and this asset i am assigning both my temporary and the permanent owners to them so any case my tenant went away so my tenant is nil now great my tenant is nil 
so when we will try to get this so our tenant will always be nil okay now if you made this permanent owner as nil here it will work it is fine not an issue okay now as i told you this cannot be it is a non optional activity and okay and if you make this null let's go ahead and see i will show you let's me remove these things and let's go ahead so here what i'm doing i'm making this as nil so once i made this temporary permanent owner as nil what will happen okay nothing will happen here till here my picture is pretty clear okay so you see like temporary is being deinitialized simple and when i try to access my temporary owner it says nil so there is no any person in this okay now what i do i did tem permanent owner i declared the permanent owner as nil so now if you now try to access my permanent owner the app will crash and if you see it will crash okay why it is crash it said attempted to read unknown reference but it was already deloaded that's why i told you whenever you use unknown type you have to be very very peculiar what you are doing because if unknown types are being accessed and they are already been nil so you will always land into a crash but here you saw like if your weak are been nil you have deallocated there and then you try to access them they will give you output as nil and the app will not crash so when you are using like simply unknown you have to be very very sure like uh, you are accessing those values that are existing in the memory and they should be there else your app will crash so this is the point i wanted to show you like what is the main difference between weak and unknown in weak the app will never crash if there is no nothing in the memory the memory is nil but if there is no nothing in the memory and you try to access an unknown variable you will land into app crashing as you saw here it is already said to read an unknown reference okay so that's why i prefer like it's better to use with weak and go with strong and weak so that the memory cycles are been avoided and then you can go the go with the things very easily so this is a basic example i hope you got the gist of this video if you like this video do subscribe to the channel and do follow us thank you for watching have a great day